Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, I adore you, and I worship you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. As I share your word this day, use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people. And as you bless them, do not pass me by. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet, Lord, against any attacks that bring destruction, oh, Father. Take over, King of Kings. I also cover this media platform with the blood of Jesus, also the ears and the eyes of my viewers and my listeners, dear Lord, that they may benefit from this word. Prepare there has to be a good ground, that this word will go for the like seed to bring for the fruit that will bring glory to your name. I pray that, 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 that I may decrease as you increase, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. The title of my message to, today will be Doing the Right Thing and Choosing the Right Time. As I was driving to work yesterday, there was kind of traffic and sometimes when you are changing rain you have to be careful you have to choose the right timing and the and the right, at the right place and this person who was in front of me was just just going and you know i think he did not even signal and uh, you know what that means and uh, it kept on ringing in my mind why didn't he, that person signal? Maybe he forgot. Or maybe he was angry. And it reminds me of the words in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 11, or verse 17, it says, and I'll also share another one. It says, The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. You can imagine one turning without signaling either they are, they are so busy or they are mad because they are going to work and they are late and there is nothing they can do and they can't fry, okay? Then, the word of God also in the book of Proverbs 15, it says, verse 1, A soft answer turns away rad, but a harsh word stirs up anger a soft answer and funny enough I got another kind of statement the writer is anonymous not mentioned and it was not little long ago because that was last year April it says a word fatally spoken is like apples of gold in in a picture of silver as a nearing of gold and an ornament of of gold so is a word so is a word respond or upon an obedient ear this is the beauty and precious value of a word faithfully spoken when we do the right thing at the right time and the right way we make peace. We make a highway for peace. But if you stop in harsh and in cruel ways, you stir up anger, not only to yourself, but also to the hearer. I like this one, that it is like, that a word, a word fatally spoken. I wish I could know the other. It's like a nearing of God at an ornament. An ornament is so attractive. It is good when it is put in the ears like I, now I have earlings. Sometimes when I don't have them, I feel like I'm naked. You see, there is some ways, things we can do. They are good, but the way we present them, they appear different. And I thank God that the word of God is so clear. So, so clear. That a, a soft answer turns away wrath. What does that mean? A cruel war. If we say opposite, we can say a harsh or a cruel answer provokes wrath and anger. And this comes back also to parents. Ephesians 6 says very well of how children should obey their parents 
so that he can be well with them and live longer in this world. But it also says, fathers, do not provoke your children. So you see, there is always something we read or we see, but there has to be a, a result or you have to do something for you to get that. For you to be, to, to, uh, for you to quench your thirst, you must drink water. When you are hungry, you eat. So even when you are angry, you need to throw down. Because when you act in anger, it doesn't help you. In actual fact, even it, raise, it can raise your pressure. So it is good to be soft to the one you speak with. And it will be good to the one who hears you. Because the communication is two-way. I don't know whether I'm entering into counseling or what. Sometimes I start and the Spirit of God will guide me in different ways. But short, in short, doing the right thing at the right time, the right way. Even as we drive, somebody who is just, you know, changing lanes like this, it, it will stir up anger in you and you, oh, what's happening? And even yourself, you did not do it, but it affects you. So you can see, it's, life is not about yourself. It's about what is surrounding you, what comes out and what goes in. It is a two-way, just like we breathe in and breathe out. May God help us so that we can breathe out soft answers. We can breathe, uh, breathe out. We can breathe out good things. We can breathe out good encouragement. For example, if I ask you for money and you say, I don't have, and maybe the next thing you do, you give me. I'll appreciate, okay, it is okay, but you see, you'll have messed up the, the receiving heart. So may God help you and myself, even as I share the word of God. How am I sharing it? How are you receiving it? It's a two-way. If it doesn't benefit you, how is it coming? How am I presenting it? I don't know, and that's why I always tell God, take over because I don't know. Let me be your mouthpiece. May you also pray this day. God, help me as I go out, as I start off my duties. Guide me. Oh, I sing a song inside. Guide me, O Jehovah. I am weak, but thou art strong. May we know that we are weak, but God is strong, so that we can ask him for permission. You know that we do. And that's my prayer, that you shall always say a word of prayer. God, guide me. And remember as you pray, the other people who don't even disregard or they believe there is a God, but you will be doing yourself a favor when you speak softly. And you ask me, my woman of God, what if I speak, I, I speak softly and somebody speaks to me in anger? It's okay because you cannot control other people. You can only control yourself. So do only what you know how to do. And when you do what you know how to do best and somebody else does not receive it that way, it is okay. You'll have you know, done your part. And I sing a song and said, If when you give the best of your service, telling the world that the Savior has come, don't be dismayed when men don't believe you. He will understand and say, well done. He will understand and say, well done. When you do what you know how to do best and nobody else understands you, it's okay. You have done your part. All you can do is do what you know how to do best. By the way, your best may not be somebody else best or expectation of you. You could be doing 100%, but to somebody else you are doing 10%. It is okay. You should not be discouraged. But you should know yourself. No, the key thing is your personal identity. And also, may your personal identity and your character and your positive attitude be in an influential in a positive way wherever you are and where you live and whom you live with. May God bless you and let us remember a soft answer. Is precious. It turns away wrath. And God bless you. And I hope you'll be able to read because I'm going to put it there. The words that were written by the anonymous lighter in April.
18. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for my viewers and my listeners. I pray this word as it has helped me, that it has it will help them too, and they'll be able to help somebody else as they share in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there, you have never accepted the Lord. You know yourself. You have believed in the word of God, but you have never established that personal relationship. It has take you, your personal, in, you know, uh, uh, confession. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I want to be intentional to invite you into my heart. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Make me a new creature and guide me, O Lord, to walk in your ways in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Next step, look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth. Make it your home church. We don't want to be homeless. Be somewhere you can call home. Be somewhere you can be able to call somebody. And when they ask, who is this? You can say, this is for us from church. At least you can associate yourself. God loves us when we, love it when we walk in unity, even as it is well detailed in Psalms 133. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. Until next time, you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search One One Miracle Radio that way. Using your smartphone, download the app One One Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7 when you are blessed. Be a blessing to other people by sharing. I love you and God loves you the most as you go out your way. Whatever you do, remember about a soft answer and its impact. Thank you.